Anyway, these are the photos taken during the Google Teacher Academy. We will talk about it more later at the end of session three. For today's topic, for this session, we have Google Drive. Um, Google Drive is similar to Dropbox. Who's familiar with Dropbox? Okay, Dropbox is to store all the files. It's the same, it's similar, and I'm not saying it's the same, because it's more powerful than Dropbox. I'll show it to you later. later. Now, for this session, we will have, I'll explain briefly, run through all these things, but we will have uh, more on illustration and demonstration of how Google Drive works. And what I'm excited about is that we've been mentioning I, in the yesterday's session, I always say Google promotes collaboration, sharing. In this session, when we go to Google Docs, I will ask for all your email addresses, and then we will work on one document. Everyone will be typing in one document. You will see how it works here. That's why I'm so excited for this one. So basically, Google Drive is like Dropbox. It's like your Windows folder, if you're familiar with Windows. If you're a Mac user, it's like your Finder. So it's actually Drive is a container, but not just a container to create your folders, to, to store your files and folders, to create subfolders. But also, it, it is used to create Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms, Google Drawing, and other things that you want to add, that you want to work on online or offline. Now, what's the advantage of you, a lot of, so we have all these topics. What's the advantage of using Google Docs, because, for example, the, uh, okay, they, let me explain later. I want to show you this video because it's very, very, uh, it's a better way of explaining things instead of me talking and talking here. Right, so wait. Gmail commercialized account, you have 15 gig. 
but I have one terabyte. Why? Because I don't know if you've heard of Google Chromebook. Have you heard of Google Chromebook? Do you have Chromebook here? Is it the girl one not yet here? Oh, okay. How do you know how to have one terabyte? 100 gig? Let's see. Okay, so one terabyte. It's not, that's not 100 gig anymore. They updated it. They made it one terabyte. That's the good news. Anyway, you look for it. Anyway, that's, um, Google Chromebook is, uh, if we have Windows, if we have Mac, we now have Chrome OS. It uses a Chrome OS. Your Chromebook. So they call it, the unit is called Chromebook. It operates using a Chrome OS. When you say, no, it's not the same as Windows. Why it's this not the same? If Windows is an operating system, Mac is an operating system, Chrome is an operating system. So it is made by Google themselves. What's the advantage? Um, number one, it has no virus like Mac. It operates the same way like any laptop, whether Mac or Windows. But everything is created or being showed using Google Chrome browser. Because nowadays, since with the advent of technology, before you used to open a file using Microsoft Word to create a word processing document. To create the sheet, you open Microsoft Excel. If you're using Mac, you need to open Numbers or Keynote for presentation for Mac or Microsoft PowerPoint. In this case, a lot of destruction was observed by Google for education. So what do you need to do? Usually when you turn on the computer, what do you do first? You click what? Was it a Firefox? Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. With with Chrome OS, they remove all the destructions. All you need to do is open Google Chrome, the web browser, the usual web browser that we have. Okay, this is a this one is a web browser, a Google Chrome web browser. But the thing with Google Chrome OS is that they remove everything. They remove this one. You don't need that. Those are settings. Now, they place everything. Any file can be opened, can be edited, can be viewed using Google Chrome browser. So, you may store your files and edit your file using Google Drive. Google Drive opens using Google Chrome OS. Now, your, as I mentioned earlier, the limit of your Google Drive is 15 gig or unlimited for dedicated accounts, or if you upgraded your account for personal, it can be one terabyte. Now, why do you need to convert your files to docs format? Let me show it to you. This is Google Drive, basically, I've been using Google Drive since yesterday because I stored everything there. As mentioned in the video, I don't need any more flash drive to store my files. Whenever I need something, I just go to Google Drive. Now, whether I have internet connection or not, I can still access my files, but it's not updated if it's offline. But it will sync itself once I connect to the internet. So basically, Google Drive is your ordinary, the usual, your usual web browser. It works in a web browser. Now, it looks like the same as, or similar to your Windows. When you open a folder in Windows, you have the left pane that shows my computer, desktop, uh, documents. It's the same thing here. It's all here. But what is, and then, it will display, okay, or this one. This is a folder called My Drive, or My Documents for Windows. Whatever is selected on the left pane, it will show all the content on the right pane. Now, as mentioned, I've been mentioning sharing. If someone shared something to me, 
it's all here in the incoming. So someone um, shared to me the name of the file is uh, registration. It was shared to me by the Neil Cruz, which is my student. So in here, you can see the file name and the owner of the file because these files were shared. Okay? When you say shared, it's not given. It was shared. They can't take it away from me. They can take it away. Okay? So all the files that was shared to me by other people will be uh, displayed here. Now, these files are also available here. It's my drive contains everything. My the incoming all the files that were given or shared to me. While the recent files are the files that I recently used. Okay? Recently updated. Now it can be made by me or by my students. So earlier I make use of this registration in the Google Sites session. But it's not made by me, but it's made by my student. Now in Gmail, yesterday I discussed start. You know why? Do you know? Do you use start in Gmail? Yes. Yes. So was using start. Very okay. So we we click start because we want to find it as important. And then we change the color of it because this is more important. But they are all important. We can do the same thing in a file. Okay. So. All the start files can be placed here. So all the important files I mark as important will be placed here. So the usual thing, we also have trash. For example, you deleted something, but oh no, it's not the, the file I want to delete. You can still recover it, okay? So it's the same thing, but it just look different. But it's similar to what you have known using Windows or a Mac. Now, What's better that why is Google Drive better than the others? It's cloud. It's stored in cloud. And then if you notice, I have it's again the same thing. Any folder shared by this one is created by me. This contains all my presentation that I have shared to the group. So if you notice, that is a it is a folder that is shared because it has an icon share. This one is not shared. Okay? Now, actually, this folder, the files where it came from this one. To organize your file, you should leave. Since drive is storage device, it's like a storage, uh, a cloud storage, you want to organize your file by clicking and holding it and then drag it somewhere here and then you release. And it's now there. It's the same thing you do in your Windows or Mac. So nothing is really new here, but it's just way better. Because Google doesn't want you to give a headache. Don't, don't like to give you a headache by knowing new things. It's just the same or similar. Now, next. So I, here. Now, um, Remember that your Google account, especially for the personal account, you have 15 gig limit. When you use Google Drive, and, and uh, when you email, usually you attach file, correct? Now, it will consume your 15 gig. If it's saved in your Google Drive, and you want to send it to a lot of people using email, you will be accumulating too much. With the use of Google Drive, all you need to do is share using the link, and it will not consume your limit. So it's a better way of sharing files. So I will show you later how to do that. Instead of file attachment, you don't need to attach it. But from Gmail, you can automatically save all the attached files to your Google Drive. Now, so the environment, uh, okay, it's here. But it's common that when you select something, you want to know when it was created and other details. Now, I have selected this. By default, it is created by me. That's the information that I have and the title, and then when it was last modified. But if I want to know more, for example, I just <coughs> click this one. So you edited an item. So the activity and the details of the file is given here. For example, I want to 
so that this one, some is scheduled for speakers. It was an attached file given to me by, by Sir uh, Nadir. Yeah, Sir Nadir. So I want to see, I save it in my Google Drive so every time I need it, I have access to it. So activity, there's nothing much because it's just say that it's under my Google Drive. So it shows you where it is saved. And then uh, take note that this is not shared. So anything that you share, for example, this one, it is shared. Okay, share. And then the activity, anything that happens in your uh, file or folder when it is shared it will be given to you so I know that this person copy this file okay I know what they did so when you share them you are you have to know what happens to your file so I know what will ha what ha is happening to that file because Google creates a report but these people edited an item, this item, okay? And last year, yeah, those, these are things. You added an item to graphic organizer. Actually, this folder is not created by me. It was shared to me. Graphic organizer is a folder where we can put all our photos because Google, you can search us on Google, uh, google.com slash edit. So how can we put our information on our photos? We put it here in Google Drive because it was shared to us. So those are the things that you can do. Similar in your Windows, you, in, your, in your folder, you can right click and then properties, correct? In your Windows. For map, you use select and then get info. You have all this info. Now you don't have to right click, you don't have to click because when you click, you can just see all the details here. And way better because the activity is not available in any other operating software. Now in here, there is a report given or produced by Google. Now what else? So that's your environment. Now we we manage our files by clicking and dragging. It's the same thing. Now, Google Drive Productivity. Excited. I'd like you to visit the link goo.gl. Can you visit the link, please? So earlier in the video, you saw that there is a document and there are different colors and people are typing. We will do that now. So kindly click goo.gl slash rksrmr. And then I'll tell you when to visit your incoming. I want to get your email addresses first. Go. How many are we here? Because I'm excited for this activity. We will all work in one document. Everyone will type in one document. We'll see how chaotic it is. Now, I will share something, a document that you, want, that you will fill out three columns. You will just write your name, your email address, am I correct? Email address and then something. Can I go to my next, to another window? We have all the, the this one, the link. All right, I need to go somewhere. Okay, 
let me go back to edit form and then let me double check my okay click and then advanced setting not a number but it's an email okay i do commit mistakes okay sorry can you refresh please please refresh and then see Okay, okay. Kindly refresh the, the window. Kindly visit again the site. Kindly visit again the site. I made a mistake. Yeah. So kindly visit again the site. Close the window and then type it again. <coughs> Google.gl slash RKSRMR. Who's that? Who successfully submitted? Okay, let's wait for the others for a while, okay? The students are so fast. That is why it's challenging for us teachers to cope up with the students. Yes. Oh, you're done. They're done. You're done. Okay. You make sure you make your best. Okay. Yes. number or limit to edit a word or uh, uh, a document is 50 people meaning everyone can edit 50 people can edit at the same time but 200 people can view at the same time I'm sorry 200 people can comment at the same time and for the number of people who can view the document is unlimited that's a big number. So, what is this? The purpose of this? Who are English teacher or language teacher here? Whether it's English, Spanish, whatever the or English language it is, you ask your students to group sometimes, right? Please write a paper. You do that. Give that instruction as a group. Please work on a specific on this subject. So, how will you know if who contributed what? Because sometimes there is a good student who do everything for the small group. So how can you assess each one? Using this one, you will know who did what. I'll show you. That is why I asked for your email because we will do the same thing. Now, some of you will be able to edit. Some of you will be able to comment. But everyone can do the document. Now, let me... Do it now. Let me access the file first. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me look for the file that I want to share. So that would be it. Type is. Yes or no. Now, I again 
not everyone can edit. Oh, well, everyone can edit because it's 41. I will copy all your email addresses. Okay. I keep your email is true. I don't know why. So I cannot share the document to you. So I will share the document to the people with these email addresses. Now, everyone can edit. What is the difference between can edit and can comment? Later, we'll discuss each of these. I will not discuss this anymore. When I share this can view, it means you can read. <laughs> What's this, the difference with this? Let me give it to you. Okay. Uh, here it is. So it's shame to everyone. Okay, kindly look for an empty, uh, because there are a lot of you, you are, right? So I will make it plenty of room for everyone to write their name and their answer. So everyone, uh, some of you are now able to ask, please check your email. Please check your email. You will receive an email, me sharing to you the file. This file. Yay! Now it's working. Everyone can write their name, how are you, and if it's a yes or no. Please do not occupy a row that has someone in there. See? That's how I do it. So, for a group word, for a group word, isn't it great? Scroll down and make it smaller so you can see how it looks like.
For those who haven't received an email coming from me, please type your email address there now so you can get a copy of the document.
Okay, so I will say, I will comment. Okay, and then I will say comment again. And then let me minimize this one. And then I will comment on the highlighted part and say, you will be soon. Okay, and then comment. And then everyone that can comment, can comment here. Can you see it now in your computer that I have commented? So you may want to reply by clicking here, okay? So see, you can now reply by clicking my comment and then reply. So what is the difference now between can edit and can comment? What is the use of can comment? If you don't want, for example, minutes of the meeting, you have minutes of the meeting, right? For example, a group of teachers, we have a meeting. Oh, who will write the minutes of the meeting? Or even before the meeting, you have to inform the, the attendees of what is the agenda. We have the following agenda. Share the document to everyone and please comment. That's the use of can comment. Okay? So everyone can now comment and then maybe even before the meeting itself, they can comment anytime they want before the meeting. And then during the meeting itself, you can resolve all the issues, all the comments, all the suggestions. Okay, so based on your comment, we have this for this agenda. So what do you want to do now? So that's the time you can work on the minutes of the meeting. That's just one example. So you can even have a meeting even if you're not facing each other. You can use hangouts. Who attended hangouts yesterday? Hangouts? How was it? Good. Do we had internet connection yesterday. Okay. For example. Wait. Where is that? So, can comment? It's simply create the comment. You may reply. You may. I may reply in any of the comment by clicking the comment. Okay. Let's start about the comments. Okay. I can reply here. Great. And then reply. So there's a series. Now, if you want to see what, which one are the uh, items that were commented in, you just have to click the word with the highlighted text. Meaning that is the area when they click something. If you notice, the the comments are moving because these comments are applicable for this one. These comments are this. Okay? Is it clear? Any question about can comment, can edit, can view. Now, the possibilities of using this is unlimited. It's up to your imagination now. The limit is up to people, up to 50 people can comment. I can edit, while 200 people can comment. An unlimited number of people can view. Okay? Because that's too much. 50 at the same time, wow. I don't even know how they did this one. It's, I don't know, unimaginable. But it is happening. Next. So, we're done with this one. Let me show you another video. Because Google Drive is so easy, you know? Meet the new Google Drive. It lets you have all your files within reach from any smartphone, tablet, or computer. And now it's faster and easier to use. First, you'll notice a single button called New, which is where you go to add something to Drive, or create something new in Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, or any other Drive-compatible apps. You may also notice Drive is now faster, and a single click lets you see file details and recent activity. To open, just double-click the item. After adding more and more files to Drive, you're going to want to organize and share them, so we made that easier too. Now you can use the same commands you use on your computer to select multiple files, and then use the menu or right-click to take group actions. Or simply click and drag to move the files and folders all at once. In the mobile app, you'll see a list of items in your Drive, and you can change views to see thumbnail previews of your files. From this screen, it's easy to search for files or add something from your device to Drive, like photos and videos. And on Android, you can even add other files, like music and downloads. Click the File Info button to enable offline access, 
see recent file activity and move or print your file. This is also where you can invite others to files or folders, as well as set what types of access they have. These are just some of the ways we are making Google Drive faster and easier to use, and we're just getting started. Give it a try from any device at g.co slash get drive. If you don't have Google Drive yet, you go to g.co slash drive. You can get, again, the link for my presentation is available at gg.gg slash gs. Let me write it down so let me type again. Here. Uh, gg.gg slash gsbiu. Okay? My presentations, all the presentations that I will use, but that I have used yesterday and today and later, it's all there. Okay? So it means you can get a copy of the presentation, including the videos. Okay, including the videos. It's all there. So I have shared the folder as can view so you don't edit my presentation okay <laughs> don't edit my presentation you can only view now what if you want to use my presentation it's okay i'm sharing it to you so please make your own copy of my presentation so you can edit them by clicking file and make a copy when you click make a copy you will be asked to give another name or you may use copy of Use the same file name. It's up to you now. So it's up to you. So you may share it. I may share it with the same people or not. Since it's your own copy, it's up to you to decide what kind of access for others would you like to give. And then you click OK, and then that's it. I will not make a copy of my presentation. OK, next. OK, we're done this, this, and Google Sheets, convert. Okay, what will happen if I already have a Word document made using Microsoft Word? I don't want to retype 10 pages of document. Of course, Google would like to, we don't like to give you a headache. So what you can do is convert your file to Google Doc format. Because if you upload your file, let me show you now. If you upload the file, in Google Drive, okay, let me look for a file. All files that can be opened using Google Docs. Search. Okay. Okay, done, done. I don't have, okay, let me use this one. Again, I will look for all the files that can be opened using Google Docs. On the Google Drive, there you go. Oop, oop. Okay, let, uh -huh. we, we have more, okay, here. If you notice, as I mentioned that Google Drive would like you to, Google would like you to use their apps, like Google Drive. Our limit is one tera, 15 gig, or unlimited, you have no problem, it's unlimited. If you upload your file, it will consume your 15 gig. If you start using a document, creating a document clicking by clicking new and then Google Docs, if it's original from Google Drive, look at the file size. It's not occupying your 15 gig. Then make myself clear. So what Yes. That's why it's really great. Take note. So anything, anything that you created, like a folder, a file, all this, it will not occupy your 15 gig. If you have 15 gig, that's amazing. Now, what is the solution? What if I have this plan? Okay, take note, I have shared an email. It's now in your Google Drive automatically. You don't have to save it. Because I have shared it to you. What you can do now is visit your 
Where do we go? Incoming. You will see that there is the Google Doc file. And you will see that it came from me. Can you check your incoming? Can you check your incoming? Yeah. Down there. Sure. And, ah, okay. 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 Look. Some of you, the word here is not new. It's create. Right? Yes. Whatever it is, it's okay. But if you have the create button, the red button with the create word, it's the old version of Google Drive. It's okay not to use the new one. It, yes, there is a link there. You will be prompted every time you log in. Take me to new drive. There you go. On the right side, if you if you have the button create, on the right side, look for a blue background with a white text. Take me to new drive. If you have the old one. Okay. Great. Google Drive. Great. Google Drive is not working. Yeah, it should work. Uh, once, uh, okay. Uh, I advise you use Google Chrome. That's why it's not working. Because a lot of updates. It matters. So make use of Google Chrome. It's free. Stop. You go to uh, download Google Chrome. It's free. Go install it. You'll see the power of it. So, you know, the company is promoting their own. Okay. Yes. So since it's free, take advantage of it. Who else a product? Concern? Or anything? Question? None? So if you okay, you can see now in your incoming you have the file with my name on it. Okay, so it means the incoming files are there. So if you want to edit it, copy it. Okay, try to edit. You won't be able to edit it. Okay, now again, my concern. We have searched for all. You have you have seen that I have shared something to you. Um, let me go back. How can you, the question is, if you have created a 10 pages document, you don't want to type it again because you, have made, you make use of Microsoft Word. How can you automatically convert the file? You go to settings and click settings. So anything, check this one. Any file can uploaded will be automatically converted to Google Docs. You may or may not check that. It's up to you. Okay, but that is the option. Now, to work offline, you just have to check this one. But if you have tons of files to sync, you know, to sync it, it will take time depending on your internet connection. But these are the ways that you can automatically convert a file from a Microsoft Office version to a Google Docs version, whether it's a Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, it will be converted automatically to Google Docs. Now, there are concerns. The format is different. The font is not the same, etc., etc. I have no solution to that. It's the same issue if you go to my Windows to Windows to Mac or Mac to Windows, there are these issues, especially if you use bullets, it's not working properly, etc. So the same concern will be encountered. So be patient enough to reformat that. At least you don't type it again. Okay? I don't have a solution for that. Okay? Next. Okay, next is. Oh, what? Okay, this one? You can discuss while working. Okay.
Windows to Google Docs format. But you want to continue using Microsoft Windows or Microsoft Word because you're more comfortable using Microsoft Word. Now, any file, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slide, can be downloaded again and use the format for Microsoft or do any format actually. Okay, these are the available formats to put it back to Microsoft version if you are not comfortable using Google Docs version. Okay? Okay, well, that's the answer. So to to put it back to its original version, make use of file download as. If it's a document, you make it, uh, since this is a presentation, Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, the discuss while working on doc, it's with the use of can, edit, changing the settings. So, what is your experience about Google Docs? Does it have all the options of Microsoft Word? Okay, good question. Does it all, all the features? No, honestly, no. The basics. Actually, recently, the merge table was recently updated. Before, it was not available. So little by little, they are improving it. So right now, not all features are there. Not all features are there. Question? OK. OK, now, it's getting hotter. I don't know why. OK, at what time are we? Until the time, for me, 11, 12, 12, okay, we have so much time, I don't know how many slides do I have, okay, 18, not more, okay, okay, now, use different header and footer, you want, sometimes in a document, you want to have a different footer or header for the document, so let's say, make use of this one, let's add a header for this, I don't like this one, I'll make it as a heading for all, so, I'll cut this one, I'll click insert, header or footer, but I'd like to make use of it as a header, and then insert it there, put it in the middle, put it in the middle, change the size of it to a bigger size, and then change the font style to more fonts, and then open sans, and then click OK, change the color, etc., etc. You can do that. Well, let me change the color to blue. Now, again, this is the header area. So when I click here, I go to the next page, it will be in all the pages. Okay? Now, I'd like to work on the footer, so I will insert the footer. I'd like to have a different footer for the first page. So, this is sample footer, which is different for the rest of the page. So, I will go now to the second page. If you know, you will notice, it's different. It's not applicable here. Here is the footer for the rest rest of the page. So it is now applicable to all. Okay? So these are some of the features that is now available. Not all features are available for Google Docs, but they are in the process. They are still enhancing. Okay? So that is all about use different header footer for the first page. Now, yes, 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 yeah. as long as it's there, it's, you can use that. Yes, yes, because it's being open using Google Chrome, whatever format you do, it's applicable to all the documents. It doesn't have to be installed, unlike Windows, you have to install the font style, no, you don't need that. Now, I don't know if you're familiar, page format is available in Microsoft Office apps. 
Okay, let's say, okay, you have different background. You design your name. I want to have it the same. So what do I do is that I'll make use of this as my pattern. So I select it. I will click this one. I will apply it to the this color. If you notice, it make use of the same font style. That is the use of paint format. Okay, let me discuss it further. I want the word to be size 60. Too much. Size 36. The font style is okay, this one. And the color is uh, sample. It will not be good for all the text because we have different background color. Let me make it smaller. I will click paint format and I'll do the same formatting for this one. Hey, wait, I'm still formatting. Okay, I'll click here. I'll click again here. Okay, so that's the use of paint format. So you don't have to do the process of highlight, change the color, font size, font style. You can just select the pattern before you select the paint format and then click the next target word. Paint format. Okay? Next, what else? Create use a resume using template. I mentioned earlier that you need to be in for uh, if you're running if you want to be a Google certified teacher, better start creating your resume. They are very slick. When I created my resume, it was three pages. They only want one page. How can you compress everything in one page? So you only put the essential. So you may use Word, uh, uh, a Google document. But they want to make use. They want you to use a template. So how can you get the template? So again, in the document, we will create a new file using a template. So the template is available in the internet. So there you go. So again, it's by clicking File, New, from Template. And then a new, a new tab will be opened, and then you are ready to Select. So let's say resume. You're, if you're asked to create a resume, search for resume. So search and then you may select any. And then if you're ready, if you want this one, use this template. And then all you need to do is type all the content for the document. Now, copy of resume standard. How can you change the file name? Click the file name and then you're ready to use Gary. Okay, and then I have changed the name. So I can share it as public because they want you to share it to them. So make make sure that they don't change the content. So retain the can view. And then you copy the link and then if you will be applying for a GTA, they will ask for the link of the form. So to get the link is by clicking share earlier I shared the document by typing your email addresses here but this time you just copy the existing link if you don't see it there's another way it's just clicking this it's the same thing so if you want people to comment the public to comment anyone can comment you don't have to specify their email addresses because you don't know who can access the file but you only allow them to comment, so, so that you can comment. That's it. So a file can be shared as public and can be changed, uh, and you can change the setting to can comment, or just the name that can be. But for the people that you want to edit, that you allow to edit, you can share them as can edit. Done. And then you are now ready to change or supply the content. So using a template, you will be over well, what do I have to place here and that. So, but it's the layout that is important when you use a template. Hmm, hmm, where is that? Okay, now, 
I don't know if you notice where do we go to make it to sync our files from our uh, drive. We go to settings. Again, my drive. Settings, and then settings, and then sync. This is to go offline. Okay, to go offline. Click done. Next. Yes. Okay, let me make it bigger. Let me double check if it's. This might be not updated. So, for desktop or laptops, these are the things that you can do in Google Drive. Okay? For mobile devices, you can all view, but you cannot edit some of the documents. What you can edit is just the document and sheet, not the slide. Because take note, you only have a limited space. Not all features are present if you're using a mobile device. But for a desktop, Yes, it's all working if you're offline, but you cannot create a form if you are offline using a desktop. Okay? Question? Let me go to the next slide. Okay, question? In a file that is in Microsoft format, in Google Drive, you can still edit them, but you cannot share them. If you want to share them, you have to convert it to Google Doc format. That's the feature of and the power of Google Docs. Okay, so you have to convert it. But if you just want to edit it, you may or may not edit it, you may not, or may not convert it. But to enable the sharing, you have to convert it. You have to Okay, this is how you work offline. I don't think I have discussed this one. Google Drive gives you easy access to your files, even when you don't have an internet connection. And that can really come in handy when you want to keep working while you're on the go. There are a few things to keep in mind about using Drive offline. Drive's offline mode only works with the Chrome browser and devices that use Chrome OS. You'll need to take a minute to set up Drive offline. You'll also need to enable offline access on each computer you use. So follow the same steps to set up your desktop and your laptop. Finally, the ability to view or edit files offline isn't available on all devices. But Google is adding new ways to work offline all the time. So visit the Help Center to learn about the different ways to go offline with Drive. Hello. Whatever you do when you sing, it's applicable when you go online. So nothing to worry of uploading the newer version to make it uh, uh, dated. Okay, now. I will do this very quick because this is a, an easy one. Sometimes we want, we want to look for a file because we, let me show you an example. In my Google Drive, I have, I have thousands of files. Okay, thousands of files because even the, even the files shared is counted. So how can I look for a file? For example, I want to look for a file with the word daffodil. That's how you search normally in an email, in your Google Chrome, in your web browser. So all these files contain the word daffodil. It's not only the file name, but the content. Meaning if it's a word, it's a Google Docs, there's a word daffodil. Let's check. There's the word daffodil. Where's the word daffodil? There you go. Even though it's an image, it is detected. Even though it's an image, it's detected, detected, detected. But there's also a word here. Now, another one. For example, I want to look for a file from someone, from Philip. I want to look for the file shared to me by Philip. Philip is one of the 
from Google who shared us a file from um, regarding faith. You have to select my drive. And then from from Philip. If there's none, all you need to do is click from Philip. It's internet working. Philip and Popo. Where is that? Supposed to be, what is the email of this? Let me double check the email. Gmail. Okay, let me check this email. Okay, Philip. Okay, Philip and Papatu. Philip and Okay, there you go. So, I will look for all the files shared to me by Philip. These are the files from Philip. Okay? He made all these documents. So, I will look for a file from Philip and just type from Philip. If I want to look for a file that I shared with Philip, you put to and then the email address. Now, again, I want to know all the files that I have shared with someone. There you go. These are the files I have shared with Philip because I report to Philip regarding the events that I am doing. So, these two and from, these are the examples. If you want to look for a document with the exact word, you make use of double code. Okay? Now, you don't have to copy this because again, you have a copy of this in the presentation. Okay? And if you want to know more about the explanation and how to use them, all you need to do is go to uh, Google. The keyword is Google Drive Search. There you go. And then you will see support.google.com. And then you will have all the, if you don't see it, Advanced, advanced search drive keyword. So here you can see oh, it's the same thing. Let me go back. Finally, this one. How do I search within a specific folder? You can go drive or docs. There you go. So the keyword, just type the keyword and look for the for a better link. Ah, okay. It's a discussion on Google Groups. <clears throat> Let me go to support. Support. <clears throat> Advanced search. Five. Google. Okay. Okay, maybe it's here. It doesn't have to be patient. Advanced search, sorry. Advanced search, it's here. There you go. The option, the definition, the explanation. So I will not discuss them one by one. So we will be wasting time to do that. Okay, so you may do some filters. I have. I will not show you the video anymore since you have a copy of this, just watch it on your own. And I'd like to give you some add-ons or third-party add-ons. If you notice, these are add-ons and extensions. Sometimes you don't have enough time to be online, but you want to read an article from a website. But how can you read it offline? For example, let me go to this one. I want to read this. I don't have internet connection when I leave this place. All I need to do is click Save to Google Drive. This page, the entire page, it's a long one, it will be saved into my Google Drive as JPEG. So I can read it, even though I am offline. So click Close, it's done, and it's now in my Google Drive. And then make use of reset. This is one. It has converted the page as. I'm sorry. 
right. It has converted the page as image. As an image. So I now I can now read this one. Okay? I can now read the document. It's the same thing. Again, the process is by wait, let me go back to my presentation. The name of the app is third party app. If the name of the app is saved to Google Drive extension. So where do we get that? You go first to go to um, I don't know the exact URL. So what I do if I don't know uh, Chrome Web Store. That is like your Play Store in your Android phone or your App Store in your iOS phone. So you look for the link Chrome.google.com. So the link is Chrome google.com and then once you do that you look for the name save to google drive and then all you need to do is install right now it's installed that is why i am being asked to rate it if it's new i can click free in the same manner you use a new app you click free and then you add and then it will be placed now in my apps so there are a lot of third-party apps. Google, okay. I don't know if you use WeVideo. WeVideo is our uh, video editing software. YouTube is also an editing software. But you can edit using YouTube offline. What you can do is make use of WeVideo. WeVideo is a, a third-party app. Now, Google is so smart. If they like your app, they will buy it and then make it a third-party app. That's why they are generating it. So they will buy it to the creator and then they will make it as their own. It's the property now to do it. That's how they work. Okay, next, last one. Okay, yesterday not everyone has internet connection. I'd like to ask for a favor now. If you attended the session yesterday under my my session, please visit this link, google.gl 6 ursym I have written there, I have options there. Please give me feedback. I will gladly accept your comments uh, to improve how I deliver things. It's now time to give me your suggestion. I am done with Google Drive. <laughs> Thank you so much. So please, again, give me some suggestion, give me some feedback. You can email me using this one, jgarigarcia at gmail. I am so active. I'm not active with Facebook. I am active with plus.google.com. Plus.google.com is similar to Facebook, but it's better because you can do Hangouts using plus.google.com. That's one advantage. Second advantage is that there's no ads. There's no unnecessary ads, unlike Facebook. Another advantage is that you can see, you can connect with other Google certified teachers, Google educator groups, using plus.google.com. You have your Gmail account. All you need to do now is look for the upper right, your name with a plus sign. That's your plus.google.com. 